One day I was out cycling. I started feeling some wheezing. Went to the doctor. I asked to have some x-rays done. When I got to the cardiologist, he immediately diagnosed me with cardiomyopathy. He came and told me that, that he had this virus that was attacking his heart. The doctors were trying all kinds of procedures and all kinds of things. It was, he needed, he needed somebody's heart to, um, to survive. The Boys and Girls Club of Santa Barbara has supported and strengthened our community for the last 80 years. For many, this is a second home, a second family a safe haven to learn, to laugh, and to flourish. To grow up without a dad and have a bunch of people see me as a father figure was like, I don't have children, you know, I haven't thought about that yet, but for them to see me like that, like, it, it, it's really, really cool. And I, I love working here and that, like, to me, that's what the Boys Club's about is giving kids opportunities like that. The Apple Academy is a four-year program where students are encouraged to take advanced classes, serve the community, and obtain leadership roles at school and in the community. Everyone who had raved about it, who had told me how great it was, they're absolutely correct. I'm surrounded every day by all these people who are excited to learn, who are ready to learn, and who motivate me to be a better leader. I'm, they make me want to do more in my community, and they make me better at school and just as a general person. They told me that I got added of the year, and this is something that I had never gotten before. It's a, a, a accomplishment in my life and an inspiration. What Special Olympics has brought to Jessica is that role of being part of a community being part of the Special Olympics community, and then also allowing her to have the courage to take on these types of roles and be part of something larger. I had a morning basketball practice, the second day of school of my junior year. I remember getting up and packing up my bag and then driving over to San Marcos. After that, I don't have any recollection of what happens. Turned out I had a cardiac arrest and was rushed to Santa Barbara Hospital and then was flown by helicopter to UCLA Hospital where I got treated. The, the phone call was shocking, of course, that, that something was wrong with him. It was shocking. That's shortly followed by a line of questions like, have you had anyone in your family die young? At that moment, I think I thought he was dead. I don't know if that moment of not knowing whether or not he was alive, if I will ever get over that. Yeah, I woke up in UCLA Hospital. I had no idea where I was or what happens. I don't know how I'm able to do all this, but I am, and I'm very thankful for the doctors that performed surgeries on me and helped me through this whole thing. And without them, I would, literally, I would not be here.